Hello, welcome. My name is Dawn Eshelman and I'm head of programs at the Rubin Museum of Art, which is a museum of Himalayan art and ideas. We're located in Chelsea, New York City. And we are coming to you during this kind of crazy time where we, amongst many museums and institutions and organizations are closed, but we really want to stay connected with you. And we want to offer you some tools to stay grounded during this time. So we have a short video for you today that will offer you a look at an inspiring artwork and an actual meditation from one of our amazing teachers, Sharon Salzberg, who will be leading us through a meditation today. And then we'll close with a centering thought that you can take with you through the rest of your day. This week, we're looking at Tara. Tara is a goddess of compassion, and she actually takes 21 different forms. There's a green Tara and a blue Tara, and today we're looking at white Tara. White Tara represents compassion and long life, longevity, health, well-being. And the Tonka we're looking at today is from 19th century Tibet, and this was actually the Tonka that began the Rubin Museum of Art collection. It all started here, folks. Tara is a mother goddess. She is full to the brim with love and compassion for all beings. She is seated in a relaxed position. Her legs are crossed. Her right arm is extended in this mudra of supreme generosity. And if you look closely, you can see that she has an eye on each of her hands, each of her feet, and one at the center of her forehead. And this symbolizes her vigilance, her dedication to compassion and to seeing the entire world and holding it, holding it in her arms. She's surrounded by lotus blossoms. She's even holding the stem of a lotus blossom between her two fingers. And if you remember from yesterday, we saw that same gesture there. The lotus blossoms are this incredible symbol to remind us that even if you are rooted in muck, you can rise to the surface and bloom. This is a metaphor for enlightenment. And just a reminder that we can all find moments of peace and calm in our day, every day. So Tara is really Im imbuing here this expression of ultimate compassion, ultimate love. So what are the different ways that we show compassion to our loved ones and to ourself every day? Here is Sharon Salzberg to lead us in a meditation all about compassion. Hi, I'm Sharon Salzberg. I'm a meditation teacher and author, and I'd like to welcome you. It's such a, an intense time, needless to say, and, and we can gather here together in, in a virtual world, but nonetheless very much together. So uh, taking that image of Tara and the force of compassion, which she is so well known for, I'd like us to do a meditation that is based on self-compassion, really using the anchor of the awareness of the breath, but very much emphasizing being kind to ourselves. So if you can sit comfortably, you can close your eyes or not, however you feel most at ease. If you like, you can start with a few deep breaths and then allow the breath to become natural. You can feel wherever the breath is most distinct for you the nostrils, the chest, or the abdomen, wherever it is, you bring your attention there and just rest. See if you can feel one breath.
If something comes and takes you away, you get swept up in thought, lost in a fantasy, or you fall asleep. Don't worry about it. We consider that the most important moment of the whole process because that's the moment where we practice kindness toward ourselves. Instead of berating yourself and judging yourself, see if you can gently let go of whatever has taken you away. Bring your attention back to the feeling of the breath. We say that the healing is in the return, not in never having wandered to begin with. If you have to let go and begin again dozens of times in these few minutes, it's fine. It's just one breath. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes, lift your gaze. Thank you so much for this. And I'd like to offer you a, a mantra, a suggested just refrain that you can remind yourself of gently, which is be kind to yourself. I'd also like to invite you, if you wish to leave comments in the space below, it's a, a wonderful way for us to all stay, stay connected to one another. Thank you.